All right, I've been meaning to do a review on the mini rigs for a really long time, and I'm just gonna keep it quick because other people like Alan Ross and Calvin at Junkie have done really, really good in-depth reviews before on these. Uh, so I'm just gonna give you my really quick impressions of me having these speakers for a couple of years. I freaking love them. They are absolutely terrific but they absolutely have their flaws. So let's just go right into it. First, we're gonna start with portability. And as you see, it's not the smallest, it's definitely not large, but it puts out a very serious amount of sound for this package. We hosted some illegal raves um, this spring. <laughs> And honestly, let me tell you, these actually put out a really surprisingly damn good amount of sound. And you know, whenever security comes around, we just pick them up and run. You can't do that with, you know, if you need a generator or if you need to plug into mains, because you probably won't have power if you're doing an illegal rate. What's even more surprising, in our test of studio monitors versus mini rigs, we took KRK Rocket 5s and we compared them to a 2.2 setup, two subwoofers, two mini rigs. And what we found actually blew our mind is that we found the mini rig and the KRKs had almost identical maximum output. And the mini rigs actually had a wider frequency response than the rockets. So this comes to the portability where if you want to carry studio monitors with you, for example, I put the mini rigs inside the basket that goes on the front of my bike and I suddenly have two studio monitors on my bike. The reason you can get the sound quality so amazing is because speaker placement is so important with any speaker. Considering the fact they're wireless, Bluetooth, battery powered, you can put them perfectly in the right location of wherever you want in your room and you will get the best sound possible. You're not limited to being on the same, you know, same spot when you listen, you can always move them around. And this is just so absolutely huge when it comes to listening to music. They come with these cases, which are these kind of um, hemp mesh cases, which are really nice. You know, it has this, um, doesn't impede the sound very much. Durable, I wouldn't say so durable. I have a lot of fraying on all my cases here. Um, the strap has also broken before. It happens, you know, it's, I would, I wish they would a little bit improve it though that I've had broken straps on a few of these. But overall, in terms of portability, these are the absolute smallest high quality speakers that you will find ever. So far on the market, there's nothing that, out there like it that's battery powered, Bluetooth, has this level of sound fidelity and portability. So yeah, in terms of sound quality, they are pretty damned good. and. For most music, I've been really satisfied just with these two in a 2.0 configuration. And what they have is left, right, wireless Bluetooth. So that means you get left channel, right channel, you know, wirelessly, which is actually pretty crazy. You get really nice sound staging and they sound really good. They're full frequency three inch drivers, but the subwoofer is really where they begin to shine. If you're listening to really heavy bass music, the sub is your best friend. I found myself lacking a little bit when it comes to like hip hop or dub or, you know, drum and bass, really low music, you know, these help out, these help carry the sound a lot. And especially outdoors where bass is really hard to do. A subwoofer is, for any audio nerd, any audio junkie, the sub is really important. In terms of durability, I was disappointed by the cases actually would rub off all of this, um, as you can see, darkness onto this beautiful gold body. It's not too bad because I always leave it in the case. Um, where the cases themselves are a little bit. In general durability, man, I have abused the hell out of these things. I use them for my cycling courier job. Drop these going 30 kilometers out of my backpack and my bike onto pavement. Hard crack, not a problem. Like these things are built tough as hell. Like seriously impressive. So in terms of durability, these are like so freaking solid like you can feel it you can tell they're made in bristol uk by a bunch of audio nerds and stuff and you know it's aluminum polycarbonate build it's seriously bluetooth connection so yes they use bluetooth 5.0 and it works great when you're using just one with a sub and works great if you're using two in a stereo with a sub asterisk sometimes man it depends on my computer this actually cuts out so freaking much the like if I connect my mouse to my computer and I'm um, 
playing, I'm just gonna get audio cutting out all the time and like it's seriously irritating. However, if I'm using my iPhone, I get flawless connection 90% of the time, you know, if I go to the other room, it's totally okay. I like how they have this freaking in and out. You can do daisy chaining, you can have aux in, aux out, two aux out, amazing. Battery life is stunning terrific. I fully charged these when I went on a trip for one month and after three weeks of listening pretty much every day to music and podcasts and whatnot, three weeks till the battery was drained. Unbelievably good. Uh, best in class, it uses like three 18650s in a kind of a series about. So in terms of charging, it uses this kind of barrel plug charger, which is kind of strange. And thing is I've used other barrel plug chargers before on them and I actually fried the charging circuit on one of them because it was just not compatible, like it just, I guess sent too much voltage or amperage. So you can't, you're kind of stuck with these cables. Um, and while I'm on the topic of cables, I use an aftermarket aux cable because the stock cables that come with the mini rig suck. Like all five of the mini rigs and subs that I've had, all five of them, the cable would fray at, like after not too long, you know, if it's in my backpack or whatever, freaking sucks. I'm gonna give the microphone to Seymour, our videographer, and he's just gonna tell us some impressions about the mini rigs. So, as someone outstanding who didn't purchase these speakers, I think they're pretty great. We've been listening to music all the time with them, and the sound quality is definitely amazing. Pretty damn great. What personally distracted me a bit was, as mentioned, the Bluetooth issues. This was really something where I was like, all right, that is a bit, uh, not so great. I think they're cool. I, I, I wouldn't buy them. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I'm not such, such an audio nerd, but they're pretty good. All right, yeah, thanks Seymour. He's not maybe a huge audio nerd, but I am. Like these are my 1,000 um, dollar custom in years. I'm not trying to brag, I'm just saying I'm audio nerd for a long time. And honestly, like I've come to really just prefer listening to these casually. Like if I'm going, you know, if I want intense listening, of course I'm gonna use these bad boys. So like, where do I stand? Cause these things are pretty freaking pricey, man. At like 160 euros or something per piece. Like that's not chump change, you know, as soon as I have five and that's, you know, like 800 euros. And what would you get for 800 euros? Instead, you could get really good studio monitors like Genelec 8020s or something like that. On the other hand, there is no speaker out there on the market that is so portable, has such good sound quality, bass extension, uh, battery life. You know, you gotta really think what you're looking for. For me, I'm a digital bromad. I'm always going everywhere, you know, and I just take a couple of these or the subwoofer and suddenly I have a full freaking beautiful sound experience. Yeah, check out my independent uh, review on the Mini Rig 3s. I do sound tests. I go through way more details and depth right there. I also have a mega list of the best Bluetooth speakers that I think are out there. Yeah, in general, I can't see myself kind of trading speakers or even getting speakers for at home because like I said, this has like five, six inch studio monitor levels of output and I just have no reason to change at this point. Um, so if you liked our little quick review here, please check out the links in the description. They're affiliate links, but and if you purchase through them, we'll get a little bit of commission. This kind of helps us support, you know, whatever we're doing here. Yeah, they're freaking great speakers, but know their flaws.